What's up you guys? Welcome to my super professional, absolutely not janky, one million dollar Hollywood studio. Okay, so, I'm a freelance filmmaker and I definitely don't have a million dollars. But I do have a studio and I thought I wanted to show you a little bit behind the scenes from the studio, do a little tour, show off some of my equipment and how I use it, and maybe you get a few tips on how to do stuff at home or in your studio. I really enjoy watching how other people set up their kit and I wanted to do the same for you. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is what the studio looks like from the door. As you can see, there's a lot of mess. This room has actually been used as a temporary storage as well right now. So <laughs> there's a bit of furniture in here and some other doodads. But yeah, this is my studio. Uh, as you can see, right now I have the tripod pretty far away from the background because with that hair light up there it adds a lot of lens flares that I really don't like. To get rid of those without barn doors I have to zoom in a lot on my lens and that's why I have it all the way over here. So as a fill light I have the Aperture Amran uh, H528S with an umbrella in front of it to really soften up that light and give it a nice clean look. For my key light, I have the uh, Godox VL150. I made a separate video on this thing, and it's set to 35% power because it doesn't match well with the Amran. The Amran is way too low light, so I need to get another one of these if I really want to enjoy that power. And of course, since I mostly do corporate shoots, I have a big softbox attached to the front of it to really get that nice clean look. For my background, I simply have a black molten theater curtain. This thing is really great because it's super big, it's super dark, it's fireproof, and it does block a lot of the sounds coming from outside the windows. And for my hair light, I have another one of the Aperture Amrans. This one is placed behind the background on a microphone stand to get it nice up and high. And to black out the windows, I simply use some garbage bags that I've taped to the windows, which uh, really helps a lot. Since I do a lot of live streaming, I do have a monitor that a talent can look at to see the chat, see their PowerPoint presentation and stuff like that. This isn't just a very old BenQ monitor that's like super horrendous at this point, but it works for the purpose I'm using it for. And as I mentioned in a previous video, my tripod is a Manfrotto MVH502 fluid head attached to the Wild Bull T5 from iFootage. For sound, I either use the Rode NTG4 Plus shotgun microphone or the Sennheiser MKE2 Gold Lavalier mic attached to a Rode Wireless Go. My camera is of course the Sony a7 III and attached to that I have an f4 24-105mm to lens from Sony. I'll definitely get more lenses in the future, but so far this is what I've been using. And now we're over at my editing station. Right now I'm using a Dell XPS 15 on a cooling mat because this thing really throttles a lot and it's attached to a Dell docking station with a few extra dongles and a Focusrite 6i6 audio interface. My monitor is a BenQ SW2700, which I really, really enjoy. And for editing, I'm now using DaVinci Resolve. I recently made a switch from Premiere and I couldn't be happier. Look forward to a video on that on a later date. I also have two of these on-air signs that light up when I'm recording or live streaming to warn other people in the building to stay quiet. As I'm in an office space, these are really a godsend. And that's it you guys, I hope you learned something. I really enjoyed doing this tour and I'll see you in the next video.